What's up guys, it's your boy OG Two-Tone here, and basically I'm going to be doing a review on the 17 round uh, for the Taurus G3C. Now, I will say that basically if you don't mind a bulge, if you're going to conceal carry with this, because once you put it in, is you're going to have a bulge under your shirt or whatever you wear. But of course, it may depend, it may vary on whether what you're wearing uh how you dress if your shirt or whatever is tight loose baggy whatever the case is um i would say if you don't mind a little bulge if there is one depending on what you wear would i recommend it it's really up to you if you don't mind the bulge if there is one good the thing that i do like about it of course plus one you know so 18 rounds Basically, with this, you know for sure you're going to have enough rounds for if ever you have to do something, you know, for self-defense. I know for me, everything I do is self-defense. Uh, if I need to, I will defend and protect me and my family and anyone I care and love for. And so basically, what's inside the gun right now is 12 rounds, the 12-round magazine. Take that out for you. This is the 12-round. Let me compare the two. As you can see, there's definitely a difference in size. Here, I'm going to clear it for you guys. Let y'all know that it's safe. Um, and like I said, this is a 12 plus 1, 17 plus 1. So 18, 13 rounds. But of course, not everyone does the plus 1. What plus 1 means for anyone that might not know, that means that you have one in the chamber. So basically, you know, it's always loaded. It's ready. And of course, one thing I like about the Taurus G3C, I mean, at least for me, you know, in my opinion, especially if you're new to guns or whatever the case is, is that it actually has, let me see if I can show you, it has a safety right here. There you go. So when it's down, it's ready. You see the red dot? When it's up, it doesn't work. Put it down, it's ready. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. You've seen how the 12 rounds look. This is with the 17 round right here show you right quick so with the 17 rounds right here it is gonna stick out a little bit I will say compared to uh, the 12 round obviously as you can see the difference you know um, if you're wondering what do I recommend out of the two in my opinion like I said it's up to you of course I do either or. I switch it out, to be honest. There's some days I feel like I want to conceal more, so I put the 12 rounds in. You know, Sometimes I want to not worry about concealing, or at least I don't mind a little bulge. I want to know I have enough rounds if ever a situation happens. I do the 17 plus 1, so 18 rounds, 13, you know, like I said. <laughs> okay, that was a fail. Um, anyways... And like I said, it's really up to you. What do you recommend um, for yourself, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis? I'm assuming this is maybe EDC. If not, if it's on the side of your bed, I would say do the 17 round plus one. Why not? Um, you're not going to be carrying it. You're going to at least have enough rounds if something happens during the night or someone tries to break in and, you know, harm or hurt your family. Um, but for EDC, everyday carry, like I said, it's it's really up to you. And like I said, I can't really recommend either or because I switch them out, to be honest. But I will say I do go more towards the 17 plus one round for me. Like, I just, in my head, I'm just like, I have enough rounds. If something happens, it's not, my ammo's not going to go as quick, you know, if, if ever it lasts that long. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah. Um. And I think that obviously it depends on how you're trained. If if you know how to use your gun, if you you know how to maintain your ammo, like and make good shots for if ever, you know. So it's it comes down to the person as well. Cause some people might just, I guess you could say spray and pray. <laughs> you know, some people do that. They, you know, in a situation like that, you're sometimes you're not thinking. You have adrenaline. Um, and you might just try to shoot whatever you can, but of course you want to be better with that. You want to be better trained, you know, and stuff like that. And if you want to be more equipped, 
you could always carry a spare mag with you um, and keep it in your vehicle or whatever um, of course you know maybe not have the gun loaded because of the laws or whatever the case is so yeah but uh, thank you guys for watching OG2 Tone out